All right, we're back. This is tutorial number three on how I edit wedding films. And now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. This is where things get fast and interesting and where the tips really start counting. Again, my name is Oliver Ward. I'm a wedding filmmaker, videographer, and I've developed my own style of editing as well as my own workflow, just like almost any other videographer or editor. And I'm here today to share it with you because I think it's pretty damn good. Again, I ask that you excuse my rainbows and my general look. We've been locked in with COVID-19 for about five weeks now, so things are getting a little bit grisly, and I am working out of my daughter's bedroom. But you know what? It's not about that. It's about the content and the information I'm giving you in this video. So we're gonna jump right in. If you've seen the first two videos, we've already renamed our footage, imported it, and created proxies. In this video, we're gonna go over the sequences that I create, and then how I edit the footage down. So the first thing I do is I get my layout of Premiere Pro looking like this. You can do it any which way you want. This is just what I like. I click on the editing tab. I have my projects and effects over here. I've got my program monitor here, my source clips here, and then my timeline down below. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a couple new bins. New bin, new bin. One bin I'm gonna call sequences or SEQ, and then the other bin we'll call music. And actually we'll create a third bin called assets for anything else that I bring into this folder. So that's really it. I just have, these are my folders. I've got assets, music, sequences, and then these are all my footage folders. Sometimes if I have a lot of footage folders, I'll create a folder called footage, then I'll just drop all my footage inside of that. And that's just so my root folder is nice and neat and tidy, because as you build up your projects, things start getting a little bit messy. So I think it's really nice to keep things inside of bins. So if you hear any music in the background, that's my wife dancing with my daughter. Nothing I can do about that again lock-in, small house, we gotta get this done. So, <clears throat> how I edit and initially cut down my footage is very organic and very simple, and I make sure that I go through every single clip so I don't miss anything, and the reason why you have to do this and why it's so important to me is I always wanna check every single clip. I like to watch all the footage in a wedding because you never know what clip has that magical moment. Even if you thought you nailed it, you might look at it and be like, oh, you know what, it wasn't that good. And then some shots where you thought maybe you missed it, there might be a moment in there and that might be the moment that you hang the entire wedding film on. So it sounds tedious, but I recommend you watch all the footage that you shot, even if you think it's horrible. Sometimes in a clip that you think was a mistake, you find the very gold that might end up being your and your client's favorite shot. So how do I do this? It's super simple. I just go through every single clip, but I can do it really fast. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. I go into my footage folder. I'll open up the very first folder or very first bin, and then I'll go into the very first card. I usually skip over aerials to the end, so we're gonna go right to card one here. And now I'm gonna click on the very first clip. I right click on it. I go down, new sequence from clip. Now I always create new sequences from the clip because I want my clip to be inside of a sequence that has the exact same settings. That way it plays as fast as possible and there's no lag. If you start putting clips into different sequences that have different frame rates, sometimes you start running into lag. And in the very beginning, you want things super clean. Just create the sequence from the, the clip settings and that way you're gonna have a super fast timeline. Later on, when you go to edit, then you'll nest everything into the timeline that you wanna be editing in and I'll share that tip with you later. So the very first clip goes down, I'm gonna take a quick scrub through and I look at it and I'm like, okay, we started off with the letter reading. Letter readings, that becomes its very own sequence. So I'll click on the sequence and I write letter and then I'll write groom. I take that, I cut it and then I'll, and I'll paste that into sequences and then I leave that sequence tab open down below. So this is where the speed comes in and you're gonna have to pay attention, maybe rewind this a few times because it's really simple, but you have to do it specifically in this order. Click on your next clip, scroll down to 50 clips past that. So I'm starting on clip two. We're gonna go down to clip 52 and then we drag all that over into source clips. Now, if you click on your three little bars here, you can see that now all those clips are loaded in here. You're gonna click on the very first clip, card one, clip two. And we're gonna take a quick look at that. Okay, now we see that this is a whole different part of the morning prep. So that gets its own sequence as well. So again, I'm gonna create new sequence from clip from that second clip. And then I'm gonna call this morn prep. And then I'm gonna label it guys. And then that's gonna get cut. 
and put into my sequences. And that tab is also going to stay open. Eventually, I'm going to have all these different tabs from different moments of the day. The reason I do that is it keeps everything really organized. And then later on when I'm in the edit, if I realize I need something that I'm sort of missing, I can, I can find it very quickly by just going into that sequence. So I'm like, you know what? I need another shot of the guys getting prepped in the morning. I can just hop over to my morning prep sequence and quickly scroll through that. And I'll have all the very best clips that I've selected from that morning prep scene. I don't want the entire clip, so I'm gonna delete that. Now I have my morning prep sequence. And now this is what we've been waiting for. This is where things get fast. I learned this tip from Zach Mayfield. He's got lots of awesome tips on shooting and editing weddings. This is not my own, so I'm giving him the shout out, but I love this tip so much, I've really made it my own. And in case you don't stumble across his page, I'm sharing his tips with you here. So again, this is not my tip. This comes from Zach Mayfield. He's the bomb. We have all our clips preloaded in the source monitor here. Make sure we're on source number two. And this is how I go through footage really quickly. I have three buttons here. J, K, and L. L will start playing the video. Hit it twice, it'll fast forward. Hit spacebar, you'll stop the video. Hit J, and you can rewind the video. And so if that's not working for you, you just need to customize that key or whatever key you want to be your fast forward. And your, and your rewind key, and you're gonna do that by going up to Premiere Pro, go into your keyboard shortcuts. You can type in what command you want in your search bar, and then you can custom make it. So it should be in your preset setup that way. So J, K, and L, L again, fast forward, J, rewind, space bar will pause it. Now the other two important keys to know here are I and O. I is gonna be your input, O is gonna be your output. That way you can make selections. When you find a moment that you really like, so let's just say we're looking through here. Kind of like that handshake. So I can stop right on that handshake. I hit I before the handshake. O after the handshake. And now I want to drop that down onto my morning prep sequence. You want to make sure you're on the right sequence here. So you drop it into the right area. So I'm going to go to the morning prep guys, and then I'm going to hit Y. So when you hit Y, that is going to drop whatever selection you have between your in and your output down onto your sequence. And so again, we have these one, two, three, four, five, six keys. And just with those six keys, I'm going to burn through this footage. So I watch everything and fast forward until I see something that I like. I just saw they were hugging there. That's a nice moment too. So I'm going to go just before that moment by hitting J to rewind. Now I'm going to hit I for my input. O for my output. I've got that moment. Now I'm going to hit Y and that drops it down into my timeline. And now I'm going to go through this entire clip looking for any magic moments. There's another nice hug. There might be another one that I want. So I'll go right before, hit I, get the hug hit O, hit Y. And then you're gonna go through your whole clip like that. Now, a lot of people might manually then go back up to the source and then click on card one dash three. And now you're gonna do the same thing here. But there's a much faster way to scrub through your footage. And again, this is hotkeys and I just, I so recommend that you learn hotkeys because it reduces all this mouse time down. And it might seem like a second when you're doing it, but when those set, when you have hotkeys, you can reduce those seconds down to like quarter of a second, and you do that over an entire project, it saves you so much time. The less time your hands are moving around, the less time you're wasting clicking on things, the faster of an editor you're gonna be, and that's simply the truth. So if you're not learning your hotkeys, you're never gonna be a fast editor, and that's just the truth. So anytime you can, start training new hotkeys. I kinda like to think, Every new project that I do, I'll learn one new hotkey. As you perform that hotkey over and over and over, it just becomes muscle memory. For this course, we wanna learn this hotkey. So when I'm done with this clip, all I'm gonna do is hold down Shift and hit L, and that automatically takes me to the next clip. Shift J will take me to the previous clip. So it's just like the fast forward and rewind. Shift L, forward a clip, Shift J, back clip. This is something you're gonna to have to preload in Premiere Pro. So again, you're gonna go down to keyboard shortcuts. You're gonna write in source clip next. And you'll see down here, it says source clip next. And then you're gonna to wanna to double click here, hold down shift and then hit L. And that's gonna create that shortcut for you. And then again, you're gonna to wanna to keyboard shortcut. 
and then you're gonna gonna want to do source source previous clip and then you're gonna want to input that as shift J hit OK and now you've created those two hotkeys and now you can just flick through your clips by holding down shift and hitting L and going backwards in the clip by hitting shift and hitting J and then that is what I do this is how I fly through clips so now I'm gonna go look at this and be like alright where's the moment I like from this clip probably get something of a tying issue maybe and I like kind of on that action there so I'm gonna hit out hit Y again now I'm gonna go to my next clip by holding shift hitting L I'm gonna look through this in fast time Kind of like him. Kind of liked him playing with the guy's collar there. So I'm gonna rewind by hitting J, getting back to that moment. Hitting I before he reaches. Hitting O as he pops it, and then hitting Y to drop it down into my sequence there. And again, and then I just keep on going through. Is there another nice moment in this clip? So this is me just creating all my selects. All the clips I think I might use in the final edit. I'm just gonna grab everything that looks interesting to me. I'm not gonna worry about making it perfect. All I wanna do is grab anything that catches my eye, anything that I find interesting, I'm gonna add to these sequences. And eventually I'm gonna have a whole lot of sequences down below. And I'll show you what that looks like right so as I'm going through my clips by hitting shift L, shift L, shift L, I'm in morning prep with the guys, morning prep with the guys, morning prep with the guys, and then boom, all of a sudden, look, I'm in a new location, and now we've got morning prep with the girls. So I'm gonna create a new sequence, I'm gonna label that morning prep girls, and I'm gonna continue doing the same thing here. I'm looking through, I'm finding moments, hitting I, hitting O, and then dropping it down to my sequence, and then I keep on going through the clips, and as locations switch again, I'm constantly creating new timelines, which those clips are going into. And so in the end, I'm gonna have something that looks like this. I'm gonna have letter for the groom, morning prep guys, ceremony, reception, cake cutting, morning prep girls, dance, letter girls, photos, speeches. I have all these different timelines and all these timelines, I have all the best moments from all my clips. And what the beauty of this is, you're gonna go through all your cards one at a time, going down through every single clip. And because every camera is being turned on and off at any given time, and those clips are from the entire day, you're gonna end up sorting all those moments from all those cards and then putting them together on thematic sequences. And that's gonna make you such a fast editor when you go to actually do your rough cut. Cause then you can just jump right down into the sequences and say, okay, I need a few shots from the morning prep from the guys. And now I need a few shots from the morning prep from the girls. And you can just steal those highlighted moments from those sequences and then drop it right into your rough cut. I hope that makes sense. This is how I cut down my footage. It really pays to get organized off the top, even if it seems tedious. With those hotkeys, you can motor through all those clips and kind of take a little look at everything. So the only sequences that are slightly different are the speeches sequence and the ceremony sequence. And that's because those aren't gonna be highlight clips. Those are gonna be long format speeches and ceremonies. I'm gonna show you specifically how I organize those sequences in the next video. So come join me there. It's gonna be a quick one, but it's very effective and that's gonna lead into how we get started editing. So I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll jump in and try to answer your questions. It's a little, I understand it might be a little bit complicated to follow at first, but once you get the concept, it's significantly gonna speed up your editing time. Thanks a lot for watching, peace.